Hello and welcome back. This weekend, the flying season has well and truly kicked off with the first competition of the year. So let's take a look at how that looked. Now let's quickly get to work in this new episode, The Flying Simon. Welcome back to the channel where today we're doing something different again. I thought it would be interesting to jump on the YouTube bandwagon and uh, do what everyone else seems to be doing and that is reacting to things that you aren't making yourself. So um, there's a playlist for me with gliding crashes and fails and today I'll be reacting and analyzing them. Now I want to make a big big disclaimer before we start this video because um, there are no fatal injuries sustained by the pilots in this video which I thought was really important and uh, I definitely do not want to criticize them too much. Um, I think there's a lot of discussions beneath these videos, always a lot of comments uh, and a lot of things that are unclear and I just wanted to shine my light on these. So um, a massive respect to those who, who made these fails and who decided to upload them so that we can learn from them and that is exactly what I want to do in this video. So let's start. Okay, first one. Oh yeah, I know where this is. This is in Spain, I think. It's a Spanish 21. So he seems to, oh yes. Uh. So I, I think this was a first solo. So that makes it even more painful for the instructor as well. But uh, now he's onto the grass. Mm, air brakes too late. Oh, and there's a tree. Ah, I think I think the main the main error here was to to approach without the air brakes, which gives you a lot of extra speed, and then you start the the pilot induced oscillation. But um, I think it's just a total blackout in your first solo. Next one. Okay. Oh, this one. Oh no. Ah, oh, this one's terrible. I, I I saw this one. It was qu it's quite recent, I think. Someone sent it to me on, on Facebook and I couldn't really believe my eyes. But um, yeah, good that the pilot is sharing it. So once again, respect that he's sharing this, but this is a horrible video. So he's doing some aerobatics. Already quite low, I would say. He's coming back to land. So this this looks like a normal a normal circuit. Normal pattern. So here here I thought that, that that it was over. There was just a bit of low aerobatics, and that he's doing the landing. Um, that he's just doing the landing. This is a little close over the trees, but okay. Yes, and then something strange happens because. This is a this is a low pass. It's really low, by the way. It's really low. Do you think he's landed here and then he just doesn't stop? He just continues on and on and pulls up. Ah, this is the bad part. I don't want to see this part. Ah, don't make the turn. No, don't do it. Ah. Grabs a tree. Oh no. Uh, ah. Oh man. I'm so happy that they survived this because it looks terrible. It looks terrible. I never even heard of this glider, the, the Bosian, but um, it's a Polish glider and, and it's just completely gone. Um, in this case, uh, I also read the report that they made. And um, that was quite interesting, but I, I still don't understand what he, what he was doing. If he was really attempting a low pass or just did a landing, but did, then made it into a low pass. And also the aerobatics was quite, quite strange. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just really happy that they survived this because it looked absolutely horrible. Next one. Okay, this one's quite funny. I think the commentary on this one is, is quite funny. Albert Felderbaum's hair-raising display of aerobatics. Of aerobatics. Love it. But they get more excitement than they expect. As he flies upside down, his tail hits the ground and snaps off. Only miraculous handling brings him right side up again. Oh, man. The fragile glider is smashed to pieces against a stationary plane. 
Can Thalderbaum possibly be oh. alive? An ambulance races to the spot. Imagine doing a, an inverted pass and, and then your tail snapping off. Helpless among the wreckage, Albert Thalderbaum is badly Albert. hurt alive. For a less skilled pilot, such a mishap would have meant certain death. Yeah, I'm interested. That's that, I'm interested when he says that a, a less skilled pilot, it would certainly mean death. He does seem to maneuver the aircraft after the tail snaps off, which is really hard, I think. So, um, yeah, I think I think he has been really skilled in here. But who, when did he think that doing an inverted pass with a, a K six is it a K six or a K eight was a good idea? I mean. No one ever said that. I really love these old videos, by the way. I think it looks great in the voiceover. It's just magnificent. Oh yeah, the air show crash. I know this one as well. I think, yeah, I'm not sure what's happening here. If it's a road break or that they, this is actually, what they do. Oh, I haven't seen this for a long time. So he's returning bad. Oh, that's low. Oh, that's low. Ah, uh, don't make it turn. No, don't. No, don't. Don't, 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 don't. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Oh. That's something you see so often in gliding. I think that, that takes a lot of lives every year. Just these low turns, these low and slow turns, and then uh, it's just a spin entry, fall away and, and hit the ground. I think again, I think I've seen the video, the, the pictures that were taken from this accident as well. I think the pilot is really lucky to, to survive this because the, the glide, it's, it's a swift, right? Is it, is it a swift? I think that the swift was pretty much broken. But what I don't understand here is, is if they were doing like an exercise with just detaching really low or that it was a road break, but yeah, that brought him in a really difficult position. So what's this? It's a winch. I've never seen this one. It's, it seems to be very old, from the 60s or the 70s. So it's a rope, oh uh, yeah, it's a rope break. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, ooh, that was hard. Oh man, that was hard. So it's a 15? Oh, let's see it again. Let's see it again, what happens. So let's see if he, I'm not sure if he reacts late. Oh, so it breaks at like 30 meters. I think the, the reaction could be a bit quicker, but then, then again, it's so low. Yeah, the, I think the, we saw the other one with the spin entry in, in the late turn. That's something that happens a lot, and I think this one is 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 one of the most um, the most dangerous moments in a flight. You know, just just that start when you're just at 30 meters altitude, and if then your rope breaks, then really you can have uh, a lot of problems. And this shows what can happen. Yeah, I remember this one as well. I think this is somewhere in America. It's an out landing. Uh, he's doing the. Uh, He's landing on the on the main road. It seems to be fine. And, oh. Ooh, a chop! Oh no! Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, he actually did well. He did, he did really well. He did really well. Well, of course, <laughs> the the main road wasn't the correct place to land. So you, you can't actually in the Netherlands. You can't land on on a, on, a, on a highway, and I think. It's the same probably everywhere else. So that's what that's what a mistake was. But then later on, he, he actually did most of the things right. And he, he stayed relatively calm, I think, by just controlling the glider to the ground instead of just, just crashing it. So yeah, it's really unfortunate. If, if, the, if the way it was just a bit bigger, it would have been a perfect landing and, and, and no problem. Okay, so now it's your turn to shed your light on these crashes. Let me know what you think. Um, again, I'd like to emphasize massive respect to all those who, who posted these videos for us to look at them and to learn from them. I definitely think that the, the winch launch crash that we saw with the 15 and the, the spin entries at, at, at low altitude, it's something we see so often. It's something we have to be 
really careful with. And um, yeah, these videos help us to reflect on, on our own flying, I think. I've also made some errors myself, um, and maybe I will share them in one of the videos. Let me know what you think if I should do that, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.